what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video man so just finished recording uh doing the the live stream reaction on monday night raw with the homie dub on the main page if you missed it go check it out we always have a great time uh but i had to talk about this i had to talk about this promo segment once again another week in a row cody rhodes is involved in a fantastic promo segment and that is involving Sami Zayn this time I'm loving Hoodie Sammy, man. Hoodie Sammy is uh is is something, there's something about it. I appreciate it. Him coming out with the black hoodie. He look like he's about to handle business. I, I love it, man. Or Sammy with the hoodie, whichever one you want to call. Um, I gotta talk about how the segment started, which was quite hilarious. And you could tell, I don't know what they're doing with Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin giving an interview of what happened last week with JBL, pretty much saying you're trash <laughs> you know he pretty much disowning him not having one to have anything to do with him he's getting an interview backstage and the interviewer cuts him off so they cut to sammy getting into the ring and i thought that was hilarious but messed up at the same time because we don't give a damn about you corbin we want to see what's happening in the ring so we uh we cut to the ring sammy pretty much calls out um um cody rose he's like hey Listen, I need to talk to you, Cody. So they're having an interaction. They're both over. Uh, they're both mega over. It's not even a question. And it's cool to see them in the ring. And I'm going to give my thoughts and opinions on where they're leading things with them both being in the ring and both having one goal is to make sure that Roman Reigns isn't their champ no more. Pretty much, Sammy wants to re kind of get some reassurance. Like, the stuff that you said about me, about being the one to beat Roman. Do you believe that? And he was like, yeah, I do believe you are. You can be the guy to beat Roman at Elimination Chamber or whatnot. But the question is, and it, what it always comes down to, do you believe you can be the guy to beat Roman? And I love this promo because Sammy was really selling this. Of He believes he can, but at the same time, he has that little bit of doubt because he knows how Roman operates. He knows he's playing in on another level right now. He's been in the bloodline and he, he has a little bit of doubt. And I like how Cody was the one hyping up Sammy to get the job done. Like you are the one that has finally gotten the bloodline to show some cracks in their armor. You're the one that did that. So if there's anybody that can get the job done, I would think it would be you, Sammy. And I love that, and it makes sense. The reason why this makes sense, and the reason why this is a good move, and what they're doing is really to ultimately help Cody in the end at WrestleMania, I do believe Roman still will win. It's going to be a very close fight. I do believe Roman will still win the match. But I also do believe there's still going to be some dissension with the bloodline i don't know how it's gonna play out but there's gonna be some issues still with the bloodline but i do believe sammy will lose the match roman will somehow find a way to overcome now here's an interesting thing a thing that i do feel like is going to possibly happen and i have mentioned this before i do think sammy needs to be involved in the ultimate loss of roman losing the championship i feel like he needs to be an integral part of that. I don't think his story needs to per se end here. His championship storyline may end here, but the story with Sammy and the Bloodline doesn't end at Elimination Chamber. You don't end it there. That's not nine months of build to end right there. No, I think the story continues into something where Sammy may be one of the key pieces to help Cody beat him at wrestlemania and i think that's what they're doing here their interaction the two over baby faces there's a lot of people that want uh want sammy to be the one to the throne roman at uh, at wrestlemania this year they would love for him to the throne him at elimination chamber but i still think people want him in the main event of wrestlemania so you can have kind of the best of both worlds here instead of it being a triple threat which i don't think they need to do i know people would love that but i don't think they need to do that i think honestly you know i think this story needs to be more so about cody overcoming 
his obstacles and finally getting the job done for his family for his legacy so i don't think you need to add sammy in that mix in the match itself but i do think you involve sammy in some way or fashion being the one to help out cody to screw over roman because i think the only way you beat this 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 type of this force of the bloodline and what they've done for so many years now you beat them by one breaking them from within which sammy has done and i think also taking the tag titles with, if he teams up with kevin owens i think that's another way that knocks down and breaks down some more of their armor and then finally i would have sammy be one of the reasons why roman loses right maybe some interference at wrestlemania maybe cody's he's kind of by himself he's you know he's down and out it doesn't look like he's gonna win the number game is probably too much and maybe maybe sammy comes out there with kevin owens or whatever and he's the one that evens up the odds and now it's just a one-on-one -on -one situation between uh roman and uh cody rhodes in the ring finally cody hits the the crossroads one two three win you can do something like that because the crowd is going to pop if sammy comes in not only beating the tag team champions but if sammy comes in and is also another reason why roman and his bloodline are not able to get the job done and they make sure they don't interfere in none of the like the rest of that main event match the crowd will go crazy the crowd will lose their shit once they see Sammy run out there with maybe Kevin Owens and they start attacking the bloodline. Roman Reigns is, he's looking at the chaos. He doesn't know what's going on. And then finally, Cody gets the upper hand. You get that, maybe give them like maybe 10 minutes, five, five to 10 minutes of them just by themselves. Roman has nobody else in his corner and you can see the momentum shift. Have Cody win right there and boom, it's over. And the crowd gets the best of both worlds it seems like that's the route they're going they're trying to get the crowd to invest in sammy and in endorsing cody and cody endorsing sammy because they both have the same goal in mind to make sure roman reigns is no longer the champion and i love this segment this was fantastic so comment down below let me know how do you guys think things are going to play out do you guys think that Sami Zayn will be involved at some point uh, at, in the main event of WrestleMania this year. And I'm not saying, well, particularly in the match. Maybe you guys think he will be in the match. Maybe you think he wins at Elimination Chamber. I don't see that happening. But do you guys feel at some capacity, Sami Zayn will be the reason why Roman Reigns lose at WrestleMania this year and ultimately helps out Cody Rhodes? Do you feel like that's going to be the situation or the scenario? Let me know down below. This is honestly the best segment, the best storyline WWE has right now. And I'm looking forward to seeing how it plays out. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. Road to 150K and I am still the undisputed YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Hey, man. I appreciate y'all, man. And uh, more videos are on the way.